today we're going to be checking out the awesome new Westphalia Kepler 1. We're very lucky to be here in the beautiful sunshine for the only day so far this year that, where there's actually been some sun. And Harbour Creek of Hailing Island have very kindly lent us this uh, Westphalia Kepler 1 to have a real good look around. Um, quite similar to the California in some aspects, but then there's some very, very unique features. So let's take a look around. So the Kepler 1 is based on a long wheelbase T6 VW uh, transporter. Um, you can see this particular one is fitted with the same alloy wheels as we have on the California and it's in a beautiful grey colour. We also have these decals here which are the Westphalia um, symbol logo. This point here is where you fill the water up and it has a 45 litre water tank. It also has hot water in this one and you'll see why when we take a look inside. This is where you plug in the electric point, the mains electric. And then on this side, one of the full length of the van, we've got a wind out awning as well, courtesy of Fiamma. Anyway, let's pop this roof and take a look inside. Side of the van. This is rather exciting. Now I've been massively excited about this for this reason right here. Let me put my phone up. Look at this, an L-shaped sofa inside a camper van. So the seats at the front do turn around exactly the same way that the California does, so I've been told. Now obviously I'm a bit of an expert at turning the California ones around, so let's see how easy these are. Forward. There we go. I have to say, these are lovely seats, really nice leather. Now, as you can see, there is now an absolutely huge dining area here with the seats turned around. So, you've got a lovely bit to sit in here, then a lovely L shaped sofa there cushions all the way around this really nice le white leather interior it's just stunning it's a really lovely light open airy space so this massive beautiful white table here does actually open out as you can see here into a be a massive table and then you just under a clip underneath it you have to slide it this way a little bit so that it doesn't get in the way of the kitchen put that back up open it out look at that think of all the activities you could play on these a massive game of Monopoly, this is fantastic. There's another hidden bit on the side here that pulls out just to rest the table on. And that's at both ends. So it's nice and steady. Look at all this space on the floor that we would have for Bentley here too. It's brilliant. He would love this. He would love all of this. And because it's white leather and he's a white dog, we'd have a chance at not showing dog hair everywhere. It feels really light and open and airy in here and that's partially down to the fact that it's got white leather interior, but it's also to do with the fact that it's a long wheelbase. So there's a lot of room between me and the back end there. It's, it's fantastic, but that extra room has something very special in it that ours definitely doesn't have. This area here has to be one of my favorites I've ever seen in any van. The fact that there's an L-shaped sofa in a camper van is just incredible. I love my L-shaped sofas, if I could say it. How much room there is and how many extra seats you could fit, in, like extra people you could fit in here. So you've got one where my lovely assistant Sean is sat, then another one next to him where the passenger would be, and you've got probably two seats here and another two here. And these two seats are also seat belted seats, so you could have four people travelling in this. But as far as like a family is concerned, there's absolutely tons of room in this for a family. Another clever little feature that they've got is obviously 
you'd be looking here and thinking well how can someone travel in this seat when it's part of an l-shaped sofa they've got that covered under here is a box that can also be used as either a footrest for someone sat at the front or another seat that also then creates this space here and then you just lift out this cushion put it to one side take all of this out and there you go you have a position to travel in so clever now if you want storage in a van this has bags of storage and without having to cover up the windows by putting extra storage at the top here they've put a lot here so you can see there's these really clever drawers on the side of this strap van really positive catches on them loads of space in each one really beautifully shaped as well to be the corner of this look at that curve that's really nice that's real dedication to small details though. i really like this and then another big drawer at the bottom and i often wonder where you could put things like a bin or something like that this would be perfect space for that right on the edge here hidden away fantastic another great bonus is you can access it whilst you're outside so if you're having a barbecue you can put all your utensils in here and be able to access them really easy from the outside what a great little space now other parts of the kitchen you've got two cupboards here so i'm going to assume one is the hob and one is the sink gosh that's a really good size sink isn't that big the size of that and then there's a hot and cold water tap there and then the other side you've got two hob burner here which is all you really need in the camper van plenty of space for your liz monkeys and also it's got this handy little sign here that's got the pan diameters that you can fit on it's quite clever so i'm just rifling through the drawers here and they've got some absolutely enormous drawers here there's one here and that's got your cutlery tray in as well really easy to access again really positive catches on these so it's nicely stored away whilst you're traveling again another great space there for maybe your pots and pans and things then at the bottom here you've got another one which is a really great space to put your plates and things because you can put them to the side and they can be put behind these bungee cords and that's a really great idea i think and then things won't fall out whilst you're um, opening the cupboard what's this one here it says 230 volt and 12 volt there I mean, it's got oh it's got plugs in this one that's rather exciting so you can hide your plugs away and things whilst you're traveling and then they're all ready to go for your kettle or whatever so it's a 12 volt and a 230 volt in here and you just need a little euro adapter for that one but that's a great little space to plug stuff in i like that a lot there's even a little gap here that you can put your wires through so you've got these style windows that are slide windows and that's great for letting a lot of air in makes it a really nice space in the summertime to have air throwing, blowing through and then they shut just like that and then what i think are blackout blinds attach in the middle here i think they're magnetic feeling that and they're great they shut out a lot of light so i'm really impressed with that now i'm lucky because i get to take the glory in this camper van because i get to show you this pièce de résistance and that is this amazing bit at the back here now we certainly don't have this in our camper van what what you see here is basically a toilet and shower and like makeup area it's got like a whole sort of walk-in wardrobe and en suite it's amazing so starting off you've got look at the size of that vanity mirror so you can do your makeup like i do and you've also got loads of storage in here for all your uh, makeup and bits and bobs and hair products and you know all that kind of stuff I, I love that. I can't believe you're getting to film this. I, I love this. This is such a clever idea. I really love this. <laughs> <laughs> I think you love it. So here we've got some extra cushions which come in useful for the bed when we show you that later on. And then you have a little bench seat there that you can use whilst you're cooking maybe or doing your makeup. And then look at that. That is a proper toilet. It is a proper cassette toilet. And you have 
uh, your flush, uh, that's for opening it and closing it for when you use the loo. And then uh, at the back is the way you um, empty the cassette. So we'll show you that right now. So yeah, you can see the toilet there and all you do is open the side here and you have your cassette. And then what else you've got in the back here? You've got a light like this, which will also be useful when you pull the bed down. Um, what else have we got? We have a, a wardrobe in the back here. You've got a couple of shelves, well, three spaces for shelves for putting all your clothes and yeah, a wardrobe in here as well. And then at the bottom, that is, looks like that space for you, a uh, gas bottle. So that goes at the bottom there. You can see the pipe coming in, it's just not got one in at the moment. Inside here, got yet another cupboard and even like a little net for storing stuff. And that's got the um, little shower attachment as well because that's right, this actually has a shower. How amazing is that? So what you do is you lift up this and there's your shower tray uh, with the plug. Uh, so you, you basically take that out for when you're having your shower and basically your shower attaches onto here and you basically rinse yourself all over but it is also hot water which is quite luxurious when you're using the shower you also have a, a shower curtain um, it does come with it but it just kind of press studs in all these bits all the way around uh, just to give you just protect all the furniture really from you having a shower um, and also for a bit of privacy at the back here you do also have a blind that clips up there also when you're using the toilet you may think Mm, how much privacy do I have? Well, what you do is you put the bed down, uh, which already blocks off a fair bit of space. Doesn't get in the way of you using, using the toilet because it only comes up to about here. And you open this and you have yourself a little privacy blind. Excuse me. Also along the back here, you have your control panel, which controls the mains for your lights, uh, an external light. So that'll be your water pump that you can uh, to switch that on and off and yeah auxiliary and that kind of thing it'll also tell you how much water you've got left in the tank uh, and things like that so that's all controlled from there you've got another oh I thought it was 12 volt but it's not it's actually a couple of USB ports there which is nice and handy especially more yeah more useful than a 12 volt actually nowadays um, and you can use them when you're up in the top bed there and then you have your Truma boiler as well for the hot water and this here, uh, the final thing, the Wabasto, is for your heating. So you've got a nice little um, thermostat for that. Um, you'll notice, unusually, that the roof opens backwards. And now that's so that you can easily use the toilet and the shower in the back here. Um, but it also, yeah, I don't know, it's very unique. It gives you loads of space for when you're using the kitchen still. And it still gives you, um, it goes up high enough for you to be able to use the front as well, which is great, because it's on like some special sort of hinged action, which is quite good. As with most of these style of camper vans, you can just pull this down, if I unclip it. Uh, and it gives you a nice big bed. Come and take a look. Welcome to the upstairs. Now this is a super comfy bed and that's because of these things here. Now, I've mentioned about these before but I absolutely love them. I think they're fantastic. And it's got this clever little net here that would attach to the roof by these here. And I know for a fact that Sean would like that because he's always dropping his pillows down the front of our camper van and waking me up in the middle of the night to tell me about it. So it's got windows all the way around. And these side windows would be really nice in the morning to check on Ooh. what the weather's like and to let a lovely amount of air in. Now these are fly, fly screens that they've got here obviously so you could actually leave it open at night time so that you could be nice and cool in the summertime. And again, it's a really nice view out just generally. It's pretty, really, really nice. And then, not only that, but it's got a zip. It's got a zip all the way around the top of this canvas, which that means that you can actually have an open 
top. Essentially a convertible on your bed, which is pretty cool. Now that seat that um, Sean talked about earlier that's on top of the toilet, that's actually used as a step to get up here. And I know that's something that a lot of people worry about how to get into the top bed. And that makes it really, really easy. I didn't have a clue how we went about doing this. However, the very kind man at Harbour Creek Motorhomes has come and helped us and shown us exactly how to do it. Uh, and now I know. So this is what it makes the bed into. As you can see, it's actually really like really wide for a, um, a camper van. And uh, the way that the cushions lie basically leans towards having two people being able to sleep next to each other quite happily. Um, you could easily put a mattress topper on top of this if you wanted to. Uh, we use a mattress topper in our camper van, but these these cushions feel so comfy so i don't think you would need it um just a sheet over the top would be great but obviously it's a personal choice but certainly if you wanted to a couple of kids sleep down here a couple of adults would fit absolutely fine now it's not as hard as you would think um i just couldn't work it out but um now that i've seen it it's really easy to do so these cushions here just go back to the back and i'll pass them to my glamorous assistant now this is clever in itself so this is a little drawer that comes out the side and again it's more storage but in order to take weight there's a little board here that you just un undo and then you slide down to be used as a bed and then you just sort of slide it back up and then re-tighten this to use it as a drawer again then you can shut that and it goes back away so there's no wasted space in here and this bit here That's the boiler that's underneath the seat there and you can also see just beyond that they've put insulation even around the wheel hubs and that's nice because it's accessible still. This chair here just fits back in here. moves back into place again. And actually, more storage. Really clever. So yeah, even though it's a little bit complicated, once you get used to it, you'll know exactly what you're doing and get it done in five minutes. Everything that you see in the camper side of things is totally standard. So this beautiful leather seat, um, fantastic feeling. You know, if you buy a California, Leather is an option and it's quite an expensive option, but no, it's standard in this. Um, all the cabinetry is such top quality, it is really, really good stuff. And um, yeah, it's all totally standard. The only options that are available on this camper van are the VW options. So, you know, sat nav, DSG gearbox. Um, as of next year, you'll be able to have the 4 motion and the 204 horsepower engine. And also, which is pretty awesome is Harbour Creek have just had it confirmed from Westphalia that they will be getting some unique exclusive to Harbour Creek uh, colours specific for the UK market so only available through Harbour Creek uh, so we don't know what the colours are yet they're not telling us they're keeping quiet but uh, yeah in the next few weeks we'll be able to find out what those colours are and if you're thinking of ordering one yeah, maybe uh, head to Harbour Creek so you can get that unique colour that no one else will have. So to sum up, I think we both absolutely love this van. They have fit masses of stuff in here, from things like the L-shaped sofa, which is amazing in a camper van, 
to the size of the bed upstairs, how comfy it is, the fact that there's a bathroom in here with a toilet and a shower. Now I don't know if I would necessarily use the shower that much, but you could use it very easily in this. And the fact that it has it is amazing. The toilet's a big thing. Yeah. I, I do like the fact that it's got a proper toilet. Um, yeah, and it's just that feeling of space. I don't know how they managed to fit so much in, but still retain that feeling of space. And it, the big key words for me are space and quality. Oh, it is just yeah. such good quality. This lever is beautiful. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if this was just not available when we ordered out California or whether um, we just didn't know about it. Um, probably that. <laughs> but um, it would have been a much, much harder consideration. Um, so it's, yeah, we are massively uh, impressed. It gets our approval, definitely. I love that vanity table I have never seen that in a camper van and that is such a unique idea um, so if you're interested in uh, learning a bit more about the Kepler's uh, the, with the Kepler 1 or Kepler 6 or any other Westphalia product um, make sure you head to Harbour Creek Motorhomes and we will be reviewing the Kepler 6 in the future uh, you know Harbour Creek have sold out of their 2018 um, allocation already so it might be a little bit of a wait, but it'd be worth the oh. wait. So yeah, make sure you head to Harbour Creek and see what they've got. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for taking a look around this van with us. We're really excited about what this has brought to the market. We think it's absolutely fantastic. So definitely a big thumbs up from us and we will see you very soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya. Bye. Bye.